this uh, stat challenge podcast. So today I got this video. Someone says you need to watch this huge emotional announcement. Clean and decorate with me. Cleaning motivation bedroom makeover. Love me is in the house. What announcement could be huge and emotional? Huge and emotional. I don't know, but if you like my new jacket, check it out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is the white version of the yellow one that you saw the other time. Again, ogav.shop, pick up these coats, pick up the stuff. Do you like this one? I like this one a little bit. I feel like I'm in Karate Kid in the 80s. I like one of the bad guys, you know what I mean? Like, hey, Russo, you're a jerk. Karate chop. But I don't know. Anyway, let's throw some darts, win some prizes, and snark on love me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Christy Adden, Patreon. I'm gonna go for that center one. Oh, it's 11, it was close though. You win all three of the prizes. So you get a sticker, just a sweet sticker. Oh, this is this way. You get a keychain and a bracelet. Just so you know, you win. And now, the YouTubers. Yeah, baby. Veronica Alwill. Alwill. Alwill? Ah! 20! You win a t shirt, Veronica! Woo! Damn it. Reach out, admit at the dadchallengepodcast.com to claim your prizes. Let's get to this gong show. Uno, dos, tres. Well, I'm excited to find out what is so huge and emotional while I scrub through this 27 minute video of cleaning. Guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is going to be another clean and decorate with me. And I have my huge announcement of the product that I am going to be launching on. You don't need to use all caps with that font, okay? It's d don't do that, stop. 23rd today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what the pro make sure we find this product and leave it the worst ratings ever okay it is and all my very own product i can't believe it yay it's a cleaner it's just a cleaner lady you put your name on a bottle of shit that someone else made these people chill there are way better cleaners out there i promise you Please don't let this become her thing, please. What it can do and the scent and just all of that fun stuff. And it's actually pretty early on in the video, so I'm not gonna make you wait until the end of it. It's pretty- Thank the Lord on high. Okay, thank you. Early on, so stay tuned to hear what I'm gonna be launching and- You just told us what you're launching, lady. It's a cleaner. It probably smells like your vagina. Like I said, this is just a clean- And this one smells- <laughs> Why I said that because the candle thing with what's her face and the other one they're making things that smell like <laughs> if this shit smells like a vagina I'm gonna be so pissed if I'm cleaning my house I'm like why does it smell what no wants nobody wants vagina cleaner smell please stop <laughs> I'm, I am blushing, Woo, sweating a little bit. And decorate with me as well. So lots of cleaning motivation. And here's the, here's the thing. Some people would buy that shit. <laughs> you walk in some of those, what's that scent? That's love mess vagina. Why did you, what? Why? Well, it's this new cleaner and it's clean and shit. <laughs> That's so funny. And decor inspiration. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. What is that? 
thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, you're welcome, love me. You're welcome. So this morning, I am getting started with what? my one. Why did she put one in the other one? Go today, so I'm gathering the long. What are you wearing? from the kids upstairs and also from our bedroom and I'm just gonna put my scent beads in here and I'm using the new one from Gain. Well, I don't think it's new. It's new to me. Scent beads. Okay. So, um, but it's the tropical sunrise scent and it's so good, but I had a little more laundry than I had thought. So I ended up having to take a little bit out, but that's okay because I'll just put that little bit in with the people watch her doing laundry. People watch her doing laundry. Oh my God. Laundry that I start the next day. Um, so I'm going to get that laundry going and cereal. What kind of cereal? You can't just put cereal. What kind? What you like? If you're gonna put a cereal in there, tell me what kind of cereal it is. And I'm also going to. That is uh, cinnamon toast crunch, hundo percent. Replenish a few things. Just crackers. You can just call them crackers, not saltines. In our pantry, the cereal and also. Is she have OCD? See, she just labels them all cereal, and she's got two of the same kind of cereal. No, and that one at the end is out too far. Our caramel popcorn, these are two things that we always have on hand and they were running low, so I just wanted to re- You didn't even fill it up. You, you are a failure to your children. Shame on you. Finish those. So now that I've gotten some laundry going and- I Holy blend your shit, lady. Even I know that and I know nothing about makeup. It looks like you walked into a fire pit and we're like, Poof. Isn't, is that a thing? Am I, I feel like it's a bit much to put that much makeup on to do laundry in your underwear. Like I just, it's a bit much. Okay. I have refilled some of the containers in our pantry. I've got to clean up our bedroom. The bed is not made yet. Unbelievable. Failure. And also, I feel like my side of the bed is always a disaster and Justin's is always clean. Probably doesn't sleep there. <laughs> I'm kidding today. I don't know. I'm, I'm <laughs> but um, this is what my side of the Ew. bed currently. How much shit do you need to go to sleep, lady? Chill. Looks like. I've been so have a MacBook Pro and they have a laptop. Living the dream and a cell phone. Working a little bit this morning. Got a mess down here. Got some laundry that needs to be put away. I still need Get to- Get me to the cleaner. Wipe down all of this. Ooh. And I'm actually gonna wipe down all of the furniture. Music changed. Are we gonna see the vagina spray? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still 15 at heart. Okay, I'm sorry. I, can't, I will never not ever think that that spray smells like a vag now. It's just in here forever. It is never leaving. And it's never leaving your way. You're welcome. Here today because I'm starting to see some fingerprints and some dust and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Get started, let's do this. I'm not gonna lie though, that blanket looks comfy AF. I'd be surprised if they even used it. But man, I'd be like, if I'm sleeping on that bed, I'm like, don't even, like I'm done. Don't wake me up. <laughs> Chill. What are you a heating pad for? Chill. What kind of song is this? Love match. Chill with the shirt. Put some pants on. Uh, you didn't vacuum inside your bed. I'm totally dis- like, the bed's made. She just moved it once and the bed was made. It's like, done. Shit, man. I wish it was easy like that for me. I could do that. People. <laughs> what is it about her that people like, anybody could do this. Why is her shit so good? It's so dumb. How many more? Let's take a poll. How many more pillows do you think she can throw on? Throw up your numbers real quick in the chat over here. 
or down here, wherever you're watching, throw it up. I'm going to say there's four there now. Okay. I'm going to say she's going to throw another three on. One, two, three. Boom. Woohoo! It's like you same bolt of calling out family vloggers and just shit. Did you have to f put the camera in your hand to go pick up a teddy bear and then like follow it around to be a fly in the wall? I'd be like, what are you doing? It's a teddy bear. Now that I've gotten the bedroom kind of tidied up, I wanted to show you guys some of these clothes. This video is not sponsored by Thrift. Is this for a church potluck? Where are you going with that on? What do you, none of those things, nope. I could, again, I'm not a fashion narsta. I am not into fashion, except for my own fashion. If this shit's in fashion, man, I don't even, okay. Whatever. Up, but all of these clothes did come from Thread Up. I just genuinely get so many cute pieces off of their site. So I was excited about them and I want. Love Matt is not uh, good at fashion. Let's be real. If she's good at something, I think her hair is good. We're going to give her credit for that. But uh, her like pajamas and shit and she just that's not her strong thing show them to you guys and also I wanted to show y'all how I am hanging them up what I like to do if you need to watch a video show how to hang up garments you should be in an institution sorry not sorry this little hack that I learned years ago is to lay them all on top of each other and that's what she said <laughs> then grab your hangers and just put them in. And then once you've got a hanger in, fold it down and it just makes it really easy to get all of your clothes hung up that way. And you can transfer them into the closet. I thought she was gonna give us her vag spray like right away. We're still waiting. There is way too much. She looks like, you remember that show with the guy, Drew Carey and the lady that had the blue makeup? <laughs> when I do a love meh, parody it's going to be the best makeup you've ever seen a lot easier so that's a little hack for you guys but i'm just going to keep cleaning up in the bedroom getting it all tidied up putting some clothes away that didn't get put away the night before failure and i also still need to vacuum in here as well so what with her 1200 dollars vacuum that's not as good as my shark update on the shark everybody update that shark vacuum is bad ass okay we have a dyson like an 800 900 dyson we have one the shark vacuum puts that thing like i threw it over a ravine and it caught fire and then birds ate it that's how bad the dyson is compared the shark is amazing do not buy a dyson anymore head over to get the shark vacuum on amazon wherever you get that shit they are light years ahead of dyson and like a quarter of the price so everyone an update it is amazing even my wife was like holy shit we only vacuumed the front rug by the door and then the living room like sitting area and the thing was full and i was like we're disgusting but then it was clean and it was amazing we were very impressed and i'm not just saying that because i don't like her it is a really good vacuum and they don't i'm not getting paid to say that i'm not a vacuum connoisseur it was a killer vacuum and it was like 400 bucks and i i'm sure if you bought even a cheaper shark it's still probably better than most of the dysons just saying do not buy a dyson who still uses washcloths that's just me or loofahs and shit like i feel like washcloths are like the 80s like, no one uses washcloths anymore. Is that just me? Can we get to the spray, please? And your ugly ass slippers. Those are the ugliest slippers I've ever seen. Like, ugly. get the bedroom all vacuumed up I am going to wipe down our furniture all the furniture in here my vanity um, the dressers the nightstands and even our does she vacuum every day holy shit this is why people shouldn't watch a shit because there's nobody can hold up to these standards I think we vacuum our house if we're lucky if we're lucky like once every three weeks 
I know you guys are like, Ew, we have animals and stuff, but that's when we just do a full, like, hardcore clean of our house. Because we just get to the point where we're like, I'm going to kill everybody unless this house is clean. Then we just kill, then we just clean the house. Or we kill everybody. So, we just prefer to clean. Mirror, the full length mirror in here. And I am also going to announce what my cleaning process Thank the Lord. is before I clean all of the furniture in here. So, stay tuned. Holy shit, that was a lot of stuff. So maybe she doesn't vacuum every day because there's no way you'd have that much stuff if you vacuumed every day. So here it is, my multi-surface spray. I know some of you guys have already guessed this is what it is. <laughs> That is super original naming conceptions from your marketing team. Okay, everybody, <laughs> we need to come up with a name for this product. Okay, let's sit down, let's get together, let's put our heads together. And they, they spent like two weeks, they sent back and forth different design ideas and names and all this shit and call it like Love Cleaner or the Meg Cleaner, the Megalodon Cleaner, or Love Meg Cleaner, Love Cleaner, Love Cook, Love Meh. Love me goo, love me goo, love me good time, cleaner, and this is what they came up with. Is <laughs> but this is my like, is it just because she's doing a drop shipping thing, or is she literally going to be like sold in like Target and shit like that? Because after the case, I'm gonna be pissed. Baby, I'm so passionate about it. We have been working on this multi-surface spray for a year and a half. Who's we, and why does it take a year and a half? To put together some cleaner, you're just gonna pick. Did you redesign the technology of a cleaner? What is it that you've done? I hope she explains it. It really set us back. It was just one of the craziest times to work on a new product, but here it is. She's finally here and she is beautiful. Um, just it's a white bottle with your name on it. I can see why you think it's beautiful, but I can hardly even see the title. How's that gonna stand out on a shelf if you're selling that commercially? Nobody's gonna buy that shit. Wait until you guys get your hands on it. I think you guys are going to love it as much as I do. There's no guys watching this except for me. Stop saying you guys. It is actually a um, cleaner concentrate. So you have this concentrate that you pour into this 16 ounce box. Oh, so you have to, <laughs> you have to put, this, it's a recipe. Yay. We all know how good she is with recipes. <laughs> Love Meg's muffins. Maybe she should have came up with a line of muffin mix. Well, you mix it with water and that way it cuts. There's my... This is nice. Like those salad commercials, everybody's eating salad. Like, ah, yeah, like, salad is so good. Salad. This is me eating a salad. Ready? Salad. Is this what we're eating? Is there any anything else to eat? Is there any cookies left? Just saying. On, on the use of plastic. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yay, look at my cleaner. Yay, I get to clean my house. Nobody's as happy to clean their house, okay? Everybody's like, shit. I ran out of cleaner. I'm just gonna use vinegar. But you will vinegar socks. Oh it three <laughs> pour it with three concentrates in the bottle or okay. you pour it with six concentrates. Oh, it is a amazing. True multi surface spray. You can use it on anything, your mirrors or windows. It's not going to streak them. You're gonna demonstrate how to clean and later in this cleaning video? Yes. I just know that I've had that pain point for a while and I just hate having to switch up my cleaning products. <laughs> A product says it's multi-surface, but it's really not because you can't use it on windows and mirrors. And this is a she. So she basically reinvented multi-surface cleaners. She is telling you right here, she reinvented it. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Using for that, it will not streak it. And I've also been able to get up red wine stains with this. And normally, I cannot. Should we buy this thing and test this shit and give it a real life review? Should we do it? I mean, I'll pay for it. I'm down. I probably can't order it in Canada. Someone want to get me that? I'll pay you for it. Let's see how good this cleaning product is. Like, I'll put some red wine on some carpet. And if she's lying, better business bureau, one star. So let's get this stuff. Let's do a pro honest product reveal and see what this thing could do. I want to see. That up with Woo! multi-surface 
spray. I've been able to get up coffee stains on my white countertops. You can use this. Coffee stains on your, you're just wiping up coffee. You can use a paper towel, lady. Anything is perfect for grease and grime. And we've worked on this Remember for a year and a half. And even though COVID set us back, part of that is because I was so picky and so passionate about it and i was like when this comes out i want it to be exactly the way i want it mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that is one of the reasons why it just took so long but like i said she's finally here the scent is drum roll please <laughs> i know you guys are waiting on this one but the scent is cucumber melon and it actually has like a hit of mint in it as well ah. you guys know i love that minty scent and funny story is that a get ready to laugh everybody funny story coming up are you ready i'm ready are you ready creepy makeup baby ready let's do this yeah finally when we were coming out with this and we were thinking about what scent we wanted i, uh -huh. I was hands down peppermint like, yeah yeah peppermint be, for sure uh, smells like christmas in here cool peppermint no peppermint scent and like I that's hilarious <laughs> so funny that story you just told us about it was hands down peppermint that is so funny you are really probably fun at parties and stuff people are like there's love meh we're so excited she's here to make us all laugh with her funny jokes and stories I was joking. They're not funny. Saying in that teaser video when we were talking about the scents, it depends on where you get the scent from, like mm -hmm. what region, yeah. um, what it's actually going to smell like. Mm -hmm. So it can smell totally different. Mm -hmm. So this was actually sent to me as a mint scent with like undertones of other things. And when I smelled it, I was like, smelled it. When I smelled it, it smelled. Okay. Chill all. This is a cucumber melon with an undertone of, of mint. peppermint. And you guys will see whenever you smell it. <laughs> it's so it's funny. Cucumber melon. I'm like so excited. With a hit of, a hit of peppermint. Minty freshness. Minty. And mm -hmm. it is perfect. Like perfect. Whenever I smelled it, it was. Whenever I smelled it? Don't say it like that. When I smelled it is all you have to say. When. Just when. Hands down, love at first sight. I had a lot of love at first sight or love at first smell. What do you what? Get your shit together, like you're terrible marketing. Just fill the bottle up and smile again. For instance, around me, and I'm smelling them, and I smelled this one, and I was like, "That's it." Like I. So basically, they're sending you a bunch of products that already exist, and you get to choose it could put your name on it. This is what this is. This is the same thing that Stoffer Garage does. Lily Brush dropped his ass like a hot potato, which is great, and we'll update you on the other thing. And then he made his own brushes, and they're shit because he used to say that they were amazing. They're the best thing in the world, and they are. Lily Brush are amazing. So he did his own shitty drop shipping brush from China, and everybody's like, I thought you said Lily Brush was amazing, and he doesn't comment on that stuff. Anyway, update on the battery thing. We, everybody reached out to that sponsor he had, it's off his Instagram. So boom, stuff's working. I want this product. I want to test this product. She said it gets grease off. Let's figure that out. Let's find out. Do it right away. And so like I said, it was kind of- Maybe I should come up with my own multi-surface cleaner. It'll smell like Love Meg's vagina. <laughs> I am um, sorry if you guys don't think that's funny because it's funny to me. The uh, love at first sight kind of moment and- Why don't you call it love at first sight? That's nice. Because your, your thing's still called love Meg. That's cool. Love at first sight. Instead of love Meg, you spent a year and a half and that's what you came up with. I am disappointed. That's why I think you guys are gonna really love this too. It is not like any other cleaning- Is it toxic? Product I have ever smelled. It is- So. Basically, you just, it's the smell. Okay. Really one of a kind. Also, you guys know that I am super picky about the scent because I want it to linger. And I feel like- Stop! The sprays, they, you can smell them while you're using them, but afterwards it kind of goes away and then you have to spray a room spray to get that like clean feeling in the room again. And I just love having a room that smells amazing. You guys know that about mm -hmm. me right now. Yeah! I wanted my cleaning product to linger and I feel like we kind of had the best place to test this out because we have high ceilings in our house and so if the who, who wrote this pitch fail 
scent lingered in our house, then it was going to linger in... Wait, is this her huge emotional announcement? <laughs> um, houses that didn't have oh, high ceilings. And so we tested this out okay. a million times. Is it toxic? And got it to where we want it. And it is truly a scent that lingers like you got it you're using this you're not gonna have to we use got it, it lady there's a hit of you're peppermint be able to walk into the room a few minutes later 30 minutes why don't you come up with a room centerizer then not a cleaner she's talking more about how it smells and how it works later and be like oh, it still smells like this fresh cucumber melon scent with a so be hit aware of that of the mint. scent is very strong so if you love having strong scents in your house and you love using room spray is it as strong as that freaking eyeliner <laughs> or whatever that's the stuff blush whatever it is and multi-surface cleaners that actually have a lingering scent then this is for you also there are no harsh chemicals in this either so mm, we'll be the judge of that i feel like we've done a really great job coming up with an eco-friendly product that is also um very strong in scent holy well shit we get it it's a strong scent of cucumber melatonin and whatever the pe peppermint shit and candy canes we get it lady stop so many different areas in your home. You get it, it's a multi -service cleaner. It gets up a lot of stains mm -hmm. that a lot of multi-surface products I've used in the past won't get rid of. We'll be, sh let's see, because they didn't they swear by that other weird one. Yeah, we'll see. And I'm just, I could not be more excited. Maybe she got dropped by a sponsor and she's like, I'm gonna do my own shit. Maybe there's some beef. About this, I've thrown my heart and soul into it. And so. You know you should have thrown your heart and soul into in your kids. Would have been a good thing to throw your heart and soul into. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, this vapid people. Excited about it, and I hope you guys will be too. The launch is going to be May twenty third, so be on the lookout. Oh, for you'll be able to buy it then. We like will said, be. I just didn't want to wait any longer, and I wanted to let you guys know exactly what the product is today. I didn't want to give any more. It's so damn overexposed because of the way she wants to look that you can't even see the shit on the bottle. <laughs> teasers because i'm just that excited about it so i wanted to get you guys excited too yeah we're excited oh we're excited i'm gonna do my dirty i'm gonna not clean my kitchen from this point okay until i get that shit and then i'm gonna clean my kitchen and we'll test this shit but on may 23rd i will come out with another video and you'll be able to yay buy this will you talk about how much it smells cool website and I am so thankful for all of you guys being here, your support. I would not be able to do this without y'all's support. And I truly mean that. Oh, my love God. My heart. Like, I know that this is... Is there not a song? Hey, love meh. Do you need a catchy jingle for your multi-surface cleaner? Allow me. I was cleaning my house with some shitty multi-surface cleaner product And I said, hey, this shit doesn't get out wine from white carpets Or wipe up coffee off my counters that I clean every day anyway And so I said, I need to make something And pour my life into a project because someone else watches my kids And someone else services my husband And so I said I need a product I've got a year and a half I need an original name And we just thought of everything Back and forth with the marketing team and this is what we came up with. Love make multi surface cleaner. Love make multi surface cleaner. Gets grease out. Gets white wine out of white carpets. TM. And it smells just like my vag. Like my vag. Walk into my house and you're like...
There's something like s s s off about this place. What is it? Well, that's just my love, make multi surface cleaner. Smells like my vag. $29.99 on my website, everybody. Get yours today. I mean, if your vag smells like mint and onions and stuff, then that's cool. Or whatever you want. <laughs> Cucumbers. <laughs> I'm gonna make a multi service cleaner that's like peppermint and onions. <laughs> like, God love makes magic. <laughs> There's something deeply wrong with me today. I'm sorry. Woo! I don't want to get emotional, but. This get emotional. This is a dream come true for me, and it would not be possible without you guys watching. So. It is a. <laughs> I am now dedicating my life to coming up with a dad challenge podcast, multi-surface cleaner, and I'm not even kidding you guys. I started a freaking detailing channel to come after James Offer, and now I am going to make a multi-surface cleaner. I'm not even shitting you. It's on to the break of dawn, love, Meg. And mine's gonna be way better than yours. It's gonna smell like McDonald's french fries or something. It's gonna be amazing. You spray that, it's gonna be like cologne. It's gonna be like a dude cleaner. Like you come in your house like, dude, it smells like dudes in here. Like it's good smelling dudes. And I'll be like, yeah, that's my multi-surface cleaner. It smells like vag. I'm doing this everybody. And you're all buying it. Thank you guys so much for making my dreams come true basically. And we'll go ahead and get back on into the video. Yay! And I hope I will see you guys back on May 23rd for the launch. I am Don't do so it. excited that the word is finally out and I can tell you guys all Whoa, about Whoa, look how clean that got that shit. Guarantee you I sprayed water on that, I would clean it just the same. Just saying, just saying. Looks like normal cleaner. What did she do before this cleaner? keeping the secret for so long and i wanted no everybody knew what you were doing what else were you gonna do laundry detergent to include this footage of me actually using Missed the, the spot. product so you guys can see exactly what it does wow it, it definitely cleans like other cleaning products and it's probably i if this shit's like 30 bucks i'm gonna be pissed to get my makeup stains off of my vanity and you guys know that normally i have to either use a magic eraser or some makeup remover to get that off of my vanity but i am able to get those stains off with my multi-surface clean i don't believe this shit again i want to make one that's better it is amazing. what are you wearing and do you guys have any like you know french mustard Shirts here, like French mustard. Yeah, like it really needs to look just like Dijon mustard. Well, no, we don't. But I think, you know, if you head over to the, you know, weird place to buy clothes, they have those. Thanks. Thank you. So I'm able to. Okay, I'm going to do I don't care. I'm going to walk through this shit. Oh, vacuum your kitchen. Play my pop boy. Okay, I just wanted to get through the product reveal. Okay, a couple things are going down. I'm going to buy this product. Okay, someone might have to order it for me and ship it to me. It's fine. I'll get one of my mods to do it. Um, we're gonna test it for real, though. I'm gonna be like going through. I'm gonna put red wine on carpet. I'm gonna put. I'm, I have a. I'm gonna honestly. I'm gonna make steak, bacon, and shit on my stove. I'm not gonna clean it until I get this product. And then we're gonna see. We're gonna see. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna make my own damn multi-surface cleaner. Okay. Making my own. It's on love me. Can you imagine this is your life goal to make a multi-service cleaner that you're just gonna sell on your website? Like, how do you even make a multi-service cleaner? Like, where do you go to get that done? Anyway, this has been a funny snark one. This, I, I'm sorry I might have offended you guys with the vag smell, but it's just because that's like the Hollywood thing. Like, what's her face from Iron Man or whatever her name is? She did the vag candle. And then I think, uh, what's his name from Blink-182 has a candle that smells like Khloe Kardashian's orgasms or something. Like, just getting crazy. So that's why I thought of it. Not just because I think, you know, it's funny. So you might not think it's funny. But I thought it's funny. Take a deep breath with me. Woo! Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, guys. Please. Or die. Die. Anyway. You are beautiful. Thank God you were here to laugh with me about this kind of stuff and not take life too seriously like these people are. And her fan, you know her fans are going to go buy the shit out of this stuff, right? So let's get it. There, I know there's a guy who does it. I think he goes on TikTok. He takes cleaning products that like say certain things and he tests them on a molecular or bi biological level or something like that. And he like call, he debunks the shit out of them. If we can find that guy, let's send him a bottle of this and say, can you test this stuff to see if it's actually as good as she said, if it's non-toxic? Because if she's lying, that's like false advertising. You can be sued for that. Just saying. So we're gonna get a bottle. 
We're gonna sniff it, <laughs> we're gonna test it, and we're gonna make a video and it's gonna be exciting and funny. But you are beautiful and amazing, gl glorious, even just in everything you do. You just look so good. Please don't put that, you know, blend a little bit, please. Okay, just, just saying, you don't have to. What makes you happy, whatever makes you happy. But I will see you tomorrow.